Problem 6 for 13 um, is asking for a particular temperature um, for a, a carbon that's going through a steel plate. Now this uh, problem will use two separate equations. The first is the flux equation, which is J equals the negative of the diffusion coefficient times the change in concentration over the change in distance. Now this is the equation that's used for a uh, constant concentration, constant distance difference. Um, and it is specified in the problem that uh, these are maintained. The second equation will be the diffusion equation. And I'm going to write it in this form. Let's There's the pre-exponential over the diffusion coefficient is equal to E to QD over RT. Well, we are given a variety of these factors. And the first is the pre-exponential. That we can use at any temperature, and that is 6.2 times 10 to the negative 7 meters squared per second. And again, this is all for carbon into steel. Didn't say what type of steel, but the activation energy QD is also given and that's 80,000 joules per mole or 80 kilojoules per mole Okay, and the flux is already given. Six point three times ten to the negative tenth. And kilograms. meters squared per second. Other things that are given are the concentrations of carbon at the two phases. And this is where there seems to be a problem. Okay. Concentration of carbon at the first phase is given as 0 0.8 5 is given as 0 0.85 kilograms per cubic centimeter, but that is a typo. Should be kilograms per cubic meter. Considering uh, 0 0.85 kilograms per cubic centimeter would be nearly a full kilogram per cubic centimeter, but uh, the concentration of diamond, which is the uh, most dense form of carbon is not even close to that. So this is definitely a typo. Okay, the concentration of carbon at the second interface is 0 0.40 kilograms per cubic meter. I'll write it. Okay, 
So we're given all this information. What do we do with it? How do we go after it? Well, what we're really trying to find is the temperature. at which the diffusion flux is um, is this. So our first step is to find the uh, diffusion coefficient. Notice how that's not given here at all. So we're going to need to use this equation and we have the pre-exponential, we've got the diffusion energy, um, we don't know the temperature but we do have the gas constant. We don't know the um, diffusion coefficient. So we're going to have to find one of these things. We only have this one equation, so we're going to have to find the diffusion coefficient. Oh wait, here we go, we've got this equation where we have the thickness, we've got the uh, difference between the concentrations, and we have the flux, so we can solve for the diffusion coefficient. And did not write down the thickness, and it says it's a steel plate of 10 millimeters. So delta x equals 10 millimeters. All right, so let's start with this one. So J equals negative D delta C over delta X. And we'll solve for the diffusion coefficient. So D equals negative j times delta x over delta c. Okay, this equals negative j, which is our 6.3 times 10 to the negative tenth kilograms per meter squared second times delta x. So we'll assume that the uh, x2 is at 10 millimeters and x1 is at 0, so delta x is 10 millimeters. And that c2 is 0.4 right here, so it's 0 0.4 minus 0 0.85 and the units are kilograms per meter cubed. Now um, notice how this value will be negative and we'll take out that minus sign there. And we end up with the diffusion coefficient equal to, let's uh, cancel out some units here. We've got kilograms on top, kilograms on bottom. We got per cubic meter here, and we've got square meter here. So I'm left with one meter on the bottom, and uh, on the bottom, on the bottom, so that comes up on top multiplying by the millimeters and we have seconds left over. So we should have meters squared on the top and seconds on the bottom. Just not, gotta make sure that millimeters becomes meters times one meter over a thousand millimeters and Our diffusion coefficient becomes 1.4 times 
times 10 to the negative 11th meter squared per second. Okay, now I can take this and plug it into this equation. We'll use this equation first or uh, rearrange it to solve for temperature. So, got pre exponential divided by diffusion coefficient equals E to the QD over RT. Take the natural log of both sides. Natural log of this equals the natural log of this. The natural log of E to the anything just ends up being the anything. So that's why we do that. So we've got the natural log of d over d equals natural log of e to the anything ends up just being the anything so it's q d over rt solving for t we have t equals q d over r all that over the natural log e over d equals 80,000 joules per mole over 8.3 Three one four joules per mole degree Kelvin. Hopefully that's what we'll end up with, just that degree Kelvin. All over the natural log of the value that we're given. Six point two times ten to the negative seventh meters squared per second over the value that was calculated 1.4 times 10 to the negative eleventh meters squared per second let's cancel some of these units out Joules here, joules here, moles here, moles here. These all cancel out. Remember, this is the natural log is taken of this entire thing. So, all that we're left with are degrees Kelvin and the calculations should be um, end up with 900 degrees Kelvin. Okay. All right. Finally, this was uh, the use of two equations with a number of givens. We had to um, solve for the first equation. Uh, we needed to find the diffusion coefficient, then take that and put it into the diffusion coefficient equation, and finally solve for the temperature that was required. This could have been done by simply combining these two equations and then solving in one big equation, but uh, I find it valuable to solve for an important variable such as the diffusion coefficient um, as an intermediary step uh, and then going and finding the temperature. Uh, there may be a situation where uh, this will be valuable for the next step and the next step as well.